Hey everybody, Radom here. Thanks for tuning in to episode 12 of Stationeers. So last episode, we started to work on the plumbing, but I've made a... Well, I haven't made the error yet, but Grumpy Joe reminded me that the safest way to mix temperatures is that all of the gases that I'm mixing need to be at the same temperature because they uh, mix via uh, volume, not by mole. So they're not mixing atom for atom, they're mixing by volume, which means if you have one gas at a much colder temperature and another gas at a much warmer temperature and I'm trying to mix them let's say 50-50 and then when they mix the mix won't be 50-50 because the temperatures will change which means that I need to make sure that all of my tanks that are hooked up to the gas mixers are all the same temperature um, this is a little challenging I guess I'm not all that concerned I will get that done uh, first thing I want to do is to uh, make a quick batch of steel though because I am very quite low on steel let's vent out the last of whatever the hell's in that furnace and I've got my coal and iron ready to go okay let's maybe not let that roll around um, all right that's vented out enough done I want to do it while it's nighttime, so there's my ice and my two volatiles. I cook them up. I throw my coal in. And actually, while I'm while it's nighttime, what I can do is uh, let's set up some volatiles in my belt for one more smelting. That way, I can smelt during the day next time I need to. And then one ice separate as well. And there we go. Now I'll be able to smelt one batch of something um, during hours that I would normally not be able to. But before this furnace cools down, let's go ahead and make our batch of steel. We ran a little bit low making all these additional tanks. So I think it would be helpful to get that done. I do have a lot of other tips. Uh, Alright, let's. We have a lot of power. I'm just going to arc furnace the gold. And here's our patch of steel. Ta da! I'll stick that anywhere. It doesn't really matter. And we have a lot of random cables lying around. Again, don't really care. Now, one tip I've had was that I could just put my portable light in my pocket and it will produce a lot more light than my helmet will. Uh, where is my portable light? I'm going to organize this. Alright, well, that's my solar power panel. And that's a bunch of flowers that I'm not going to use for a bit. Uh, I could start labeling my... Where is the portable light? Maybe this is why I didn't use it, because I don't know where it is. I should start... Um... Okay, so tips, tips, tips. Uh, Grumpy Joe was the one that mentioned that I should be careful about how I mix things at different temperatures, etc. I'm not sure where my portable light went. I could always make another one, but it kind of seems wasteful. Uh, given that it should be around here somewhere. It would help if it was, you know, daytime. And I could see where I'm going. Maybe I'll look for it during the day. It probably just got displaced. Uh, another tip I got was from Crunk Spleen. Uh, that I should start color coding my lights. Yes, I probably should. I could start putting growing flowers. Um, but also what I should do is I should get a tool manufactory, uh, which is a bunch of iron and we have a bunch of iron in here. And this is the last bench that I should probably have, um, if I'm avoiding the use of the fabricator, which as I stated, I want to avoid because although I like the fabricator a lot, it's... It takes a long time and it doesn't filter well, so it's it could it's a little bit of trouble to use. Man, it's been a bunch of episodes. I'm not exactly sure where my portable light went. I suppose how expensive it is to make another one. It's probably an electronics printer, right? Portable light, copper and oh, it's real cheap. Uh, okay. I also don't have any lockers yet. 
which is kind of a problem given that I have all these um, all these compounds that roll around so I'm just gonna put them into storage for a minute uh, if I need them I can grab them so I need copper iron and we'll make one more portable light I'm just gonna leave those there for now 303 steel I'd say that's enough is this still hot enough to do some smelting and eh, maybe I'll open the mold so it pops out automatically if it is so here's our portable light uh, let's we should have there is a large battery And let's turn this thing on, pick it up, and put it into our uniform. Light so now we're casting light, if I zoom out, we're casting light in a 360. Has some weird shadowing, which is why I sometimes don't use it, but... Oh, tool's done. But it certainly has its, uh, its fair uses. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll put you there. It's really not the best spot for it, because it kind of blocks my furnace, but... I'm not about to... Uh, redesign anything here. Alright. Arc furnace, sorry. You're shutting down for a second. I'm just going to rewire it because it kind of got uh, messy. Actually, you know what? We don't even need that. Just three-way junction. It kind of got messy over here and um, we can tidy up just a little bit. It also saves us some uh, cabling. Corner here it should snap. Good. And junction should snap. Perfect. We were almost done uh, smelting all that too. Alright, so what do you need? You need two iron sheets. Good. I literally only have two. Cable coils done. And plastic sheets. Plastic sheets would be over here. And I need to weld them. You know, I gotta say, I'm glad I'm wearing a helmet because welding plastic sheets probably smells really bad. If anyone's ever melted plastic. And screwdriver, done. All right, and what this thing allows you to build is suits, hard suits, hard suit backpack, jet pack, which honestly wouldn't be the worst idea for me. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. So copper, steel, gold. And maybe some lead. Oh, man, I really crowded this work spot. Uh, so we need some copper in that. So we'll get a whole better array of gear, personal gear. Light on. Given that my suit is um, nuclear powered now, I really, really don't need to worry about my uh, my headlamp battery because it's going to take a lot to deplete my power. Plus, the original power grid I had set up. Um, has a full kit battery, which means I have lots and lots and lots of power. All right, so there's the backpack. Now let's do the jetpack, which takes lead and invar. Um, so this backpack is larger. Uh, let me just... What was in my backpack? Uh... No, this is space pack. 
Wait, why is my space pack... Oh, because the jetpack's different. Oh, yeah. Alright. So, I just made something that... Yeah, okay. I understand. I don't want a backpack. Um, I'll put it away. I really need the, the jetpack because the backpack's not going to let me fly around at all. My bad. Live and learn. Well, at least you can all learn from my mistake just that I made just now. Alright, let's vent out the furnace. Uh, so it says we're going to need some invar. I'm storing my invar over here so it won't uh, roll away. And then I only needed one more uh, lead, which is not too expensive. Thank you, Mr. Lead. Alright. Hard suit jetpack. That will have more storage uh, than the other one. Not that I was really ever running out of storage, but it doesn't hurt, right? Never hurts to have some additional storage. Alright, and then I ought to get back to setting up the building over there. The thing with stationers that I find is you set yourself with a task and then you get sidetracked and then you get sidetracked from being sidetracked and then you realize like, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes later that you've done nothing towards your goal. Uh, but I guess getting the tool manufactory and then making sure that I have better, uh, I have better kit stuff is pretty useful. Uh, oops, put the propellant. And I'm just holding um, left or uh, left alt to be able to drag stuff. And now I have my old backpack. Now another thing that I could do is I haven't uh, built a recycler or centrifuge yet. Uh, I really don't have the real estate to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to make this episode less about setting up the HVAC, which is... I'm not going to say it's boring. It needs to be done, but um, I'm going to add some more benches to my stuff. So let's go ahead and grab my steel. Where did I put the steel? In here. Alright, and we're going to want some steel frames. So I'm going to set up a recycler and a centrifuge and... Um, a locker for organization and also expand my platform a little bit here so that I have more working space a cleaner work area will allow me to work faster in in my uh, opinion slash experience And that way we can clean up this area. Uh, I also could add a light above me. That wouldn't be terrible. Kit light. Need to put a little iron in there. Alright. That platform should help. One more steel frame is fine. Let's see. So we have two kit lights. Um, let's see, angled. Yeah, that should, oh, you know what, maybe even further back. That should be fairly decently illuminating. And put another one here. Yeah. Hopefully hopefully this will actually light up the base a little bit. Um, now for power. This is on the wrong network. So this is going to be ugly but what I'm gonna do is just 
put a cable up, a corner piece up like this. Don't tell OSHA. <laughs> OSHA, if you're unfamiliar, is Occupational uh, Safety and Health Administration. It's uh, an organization in America that makes sure that uh, your workspace is safe. Uh, it's kind of an over oversimplification, but, but that's pretty much what it is. And dangling cables, well, nothing about this setup is OSHA safe, but dangling cables is definitely a violation. <laughs> And now with two points of light here, I have a very nicely illuminated workspace, um, which means that in my pocket, this uh, portable light here, I'm just going to plop over here, Ugh. plop here, good, well lit, and I can use that portable light for other things, uh, okay, copper, of course, point light, my helmet light is still probably needed from time to time, just because these ambient lights cast hard shadows. Um, all right. So the next thing I want to do is probably um, weld up these frames that I've uh, plopped down. Let's see if, see if I have any steel sheets over here left over. I do have two. Two's not going to be enough. I'll make some more. So this is going to help to reduce some of the crowding that I have around my base. I might even move the tool manufactory to uh, this spot. If I move it to this spot, I'm going to want to move the frames out even further. Uh, let's use the last two steel uh, iron frames that I have. And I don't think I have any iron sheets. But here's some more steel frames. So I'll have to make some iron sheets. And steel sheets. So two iron sheets and at least three steel sheets. I'm making more iron sheets than I need so that if I need some in the future, I've got some. I don't have to remake them. Platforms aren't that expensive to make. Um, and I would say it's definitely nice to have like a, a flat, easy to move around workspace. And I've definitely not done that. So I actually, I, yeah, I'm, I'm happy about taking the time to fix this up. Now for steel sheets. One, two, three at the very least. And we're going to want more than that uh, eventually, but... I'm just going to make what I need for now. Oh, right. I don't have any sheets in my hands. Now, the game actually just patched, like, yesterday, which adds in more tools. So it adds in a better drill, which I can manufacture on the tool manufactory. I'm going to move the tool manufactory first, but that better drill will be pretty cool to use for sure. I'm eager to see it. Now, I have d not done a lot of my mining um, on screen because it's probably not the most filling, uh, most thrilling thing to watch me do. All right, so here's the recycler. I'm going to need some more cables. And I'm going to move this thing. Wire cutters needing to deconstruct. Angle grinder. Wow, it's really a complicated process to break this thing down. And then wrench. All right, Mr. Tool. Leaning tower of wires. No, it toppled. Pisa would be so sad. 
you're still making a recycler. Alright, recycler's done, so I ought to walk over there and stop the next recycler it's trying to make. I have a bit of time. It doesn't use, I've mentioned this before, but it doesn't use your resources until the, pro the current project is actually done. And even me resetting the power like that uh, stopped progress. So recycler, I'll put... Um, I'll put here, and centrifuge, get one of those made, alright, welding torch for iron sheets, there should be, yep, nothing is wasted when you move these benches, you just have to pick up all the parts, cables, and then a welding torch with plastic sheets, and then a screwdriver, okay. That's in a better position now. Oh, I've got some great cable coils. Now, all of your cables and stuff like that can be colored. Um, same with pipes. And it the way it works is the cables or the colors that are in your hands get matched. So if you wanted to, like, color your pipes infinitely, instead of spray painting each pipe, what you could do is... Oh, you know what I should do? All right, hang on a minute. This is a pass event. I need to like once and for all fix this issue here with a pending pipe explosion. All of you have probably nervously been um, biting your nails because I've I've been putting all of the excess gas into this tank here, which is an explosion uh, risk. So let me, uh, I'm going to forget to fix that, so let me fix that now. Alright, so now that tank is properly empty. I was making a centrifuge over here, I don't want two of them, so let me, uh, go hurry up and... Oh, I don't even have enough iron to make the second one. Okay, cool. Well, not cool that I'm out of iron. Uh, steel sheets. Let's get all these excess stuff off. And then I'm going to need a locker. And I'm probably getting hungry. I haven't had the warning yet, so I'm just going to ignore the fact that I'm probably quite hungry. So what this is going to allow me to do is to break down um, unneeded stuff. Like old filters or suits that I'm no longer using. Uh, back into their into their uh, compounds. Okay, that's fully built. Cool. And then I'm going to want to shoot. So a shoot is, you could think of it as like a conveyor belt, I guess. I haven't really used any shoots yet, but it, ooh, these aren't lined up. Alright, I'm just going to move the hand recycler. The recycler actually moves really easily. And what I'm going to do is connect these two via chutes. So anything coming out of the recycler goes into the centrifuge. So what this does, the recycler uh, grinds down stuff that you feed into it. And then... Um, the centrifuge... Alright. There, I made all my cable coils back to red. The centrifuge then will um, separate out that ground up stuff into different elements. So, you know, most things, most items aren't just one element. Uh, so if you feed it something like um, copper cables, or uh, cables, obviously that's pure copper. So out of the recycler would come pure copper. But if you feed it something else uh, that was made from multiple ingredients, like an active vent, let's say, uh, what would pop out would not be, you know, all of its components, it would be a mix. So actually, let me let me demonstrate. It might make more sense to uh, demonstrate how this works first. So let me turn off the centrifuge and do one at a time. So here's the recycler. 
I'm gonna put the shoot away. And let's take something like my hard suit that I made, hard suit backpack that doesn't allow me to have a jetpack. And let's grind that up. So we're grinding that up, and it's saying that I'm gonna get back. Oops, that automatically went into the centrifuge. But what happened was it gave me um, a little bit of gold, a little bit of iron, a little bit of copper. But it it gave that to me in one giant blob of resource. Um, I think, here, let me uh, fill the import so that I can do this again to demonstrate uh, how this works. So let's take a damaged EVA suit. Stick it in, and this is saying it's a bit of iron, a bit of copper. So what's gonna pop out is a lump of reagent. And this reagent mix is not useful. It is a mix of iron and copper, but mixing iron and copper doesn't give you anything. That's not a, a recipe for anything. Uh, so what we need to do is spin it in the centrifuge and separate out the iron and the copper. Now things like steel will remain to be reagent mixes, um, but everything else will not. And then this will pop out. Obviously I don't have a way, I, I eventually can add shoots and hoppers and things like that so that these don't roll out um, making a big mess. But here we go, here's some of the um, the elements that went into the hopper. Or went into the recycler, rather. So this is saying that this reagent mix here is steel. It's, uh, so if we were to put this into the furnace here, it would become steel. Um, I could demonstrate that once I have some more steel chunks. So let's go ahead and break down a lot of these stuff that we no longer need. Because I don't want to smelt on the furnace uh, multiple times. And this is a good way to sort of um, get back resources of stuff you no longer need. So if you make too much of something or whatever, um, this is a great way to recycle. Because at present, there's actually no way to like throw anything out in this game. You can only recycle it. So for instance, if I have too many pressure regulators, I can just recycle it. So let's take a look. Uh, solid generator, I'm going to recycle. I don't think I'm ever going to use it. And this old filter that, that is uh, depleted, I'm going to recycle as well. And the solid fuel generator is giving me a lot of iron. And this is iron that I will not have to mine for. It's 27 iron. That's pretty nice, right? So, yeah, these are handy to, to, to have around for sure. And I hadn't demonstrated it because I hadn't really had need to. So let's see, a space backpack and my old helmet that got damaged from me smacking into things at high uh, velocity. Let's throw those in. And doing some spring cleaning. Tracking beacon, let's get rid of. Road flares, I'm not really gonna need. Oh, we even got some gold out of this. There's a lot of items that you start off with that um, that I don't really find a use for. So like road flares and small flags. Small flags, I can plant one, but like I, they're supposed to render further out than your base so that you can see them from a distance. I don't really see that that's the case. Um, I've never really seen that they're useful in that way. All right, and then the rest of this is just spray paint. Um, these are old filters. Portable solar panel. I can break down as well. Uh, obviously, we have the real ones. I don't need the cheapo fake ones. Motherboard IC editor and circuit board airlock. Circuit board airlock, I'm never going to use. I can break that down as well. On the moon, you can use something like the regular airlock, but on Mars, because Mars has atmosphere, you need, um, you need the advanced. And wow, this whole box here is just about, just about empty. 
Hunger caution, huh? All right, let me um, eat a big potato. Eventually, I'll have more um, fancy recipes, but for now... Oops. I put two potatoes in there. Creating unknown. Yeah, it's going to create a big waste. Let me um, get my, clear it. Make sure to not do what I just did, which is to add uh, more than just like one potato, because it's not going to create a recipe. Alright, there's my baked potato. Let's turn off the bench. Eat my baked potato. I'm sure my plants are done growing and I should cycle it, but given how little food I actually need to stay alive, um, I'm not going to really worry about that. Alright, is there anything else I want to throw away? No, this is all set. The iron walls I could probably get rid of. And that that's a pretty good source of iron. Iron sheets I'll keep, though. Kit atmospherics. I'm sure I'll have a need for eventually, maybe. Maybe that was an extra. Whoa. Let me go get my um, organic supplies box. Sometimes when you clip into things... Things like jettison, um, you know, when you clip the box into a wall, for instance, it will throw it like halfway across the map. You got to be careful about that. It's hilarious, but uh, you can obviously lose stuff. Uh, what is this? A filter? Let's stick that into our suit. We have a bunch of like partially used filters. Alright, so as a result of that recycling effort, I guess we can turn these off now. We got some gold. We got a whole lot of iron. We got more than 50 iron. Because all my all the rest of these ores very politely rolled into this, um, this hole here. So we got uh, like 75 iron from it. And four or five gold. And then I'll show you the steel. So re reclaiming uh, reagent mix. Reclaiming, you have to make sure you know what reagent mix is. So this reagent mix is steel. But if, um, let's say I recycled something that contained Constantin, Invar, Electrum, or... Um, what's the last one? Solder. Uh, you'd have to know which reagent mix is which. So not don't just throw all of your reagent mixes willy-nilly into your furnace because it's not going to make something nice uh, unless it all happens to be the same reagent mix. Uh, I hope I explained that well, but yeah. So let's go ahead and do some more smelting. So this is at 2K... Okay, this is at atmosphere. So what we're going to do is hold left alt... Let me just jetpack up here. Hold left alt and drag these in directly so there's no nothing wasted. It can't melt. And then activate. Throw my reagent mix in. And boom! I got five ingots of steel from that reagent mix instead of a weird mix. All right, that's beautiful. Light. Light. I'll keep these on. I don't really need, ever need to turn those Light. off. I have enough power to keep them on. So, uh, I'm running low on time, but I also wanted to show the new tools. So there's um, there's night vision goggles, gold, constant and solder, silicon. Uh, I don't know if I have any silicon sitting around. I could recycle some glass, I guess. Constantin. So night vision goggles uh, obviously allow you to see in the dark. And I actually haven't ever made them, so solder, gold. Where's my gold? There's my gold. I have a lot of gold. And... 
I'll just grab all of this. And for silicon, let me, I'll just let this uh, episode run a little late. There's a lot of silicon around my, my base. It should be pretty easy to find. Is this oxide? Yeah. This looks like silicon, right? Nope, regular ice. More ice. Man, I thought there was silicon over this way. Regular ice. Holy ice, Batman. I I guess I was moving around back here and I saw a bunch of this ice and just sort of assumed it was silicon. Silicon's more angled than ice. Uh, what I might do is I might cheat and spawn some in. Just because watching me mine is probably not the most fascinating thing. Especially given that it is d night. Now, ugh, come on. As you can see, my mining tool looks a little bit different. It's smaller uh, to signify that there is better mining tools. Let's go ahead and shove this portable light in my backpack. Casts a little bit better light. Come on. Oxite. It's going to be tough to find at nighttime. Oh, here we go. It's just going to be one little note of it, isn't it? I could use the, um, yeah, this is why I don't really love the portable light, because it's, there's some crazy shadows going on here. Alright, so that was silicon, I do have enough. What I want to do is, um, I'm aiming to try to expose a lump of it, but that doesn't seem to be possible, so I'm not going to worry about it. Now, this is the old base. Put my mining tool away. So I only need a small 10 of it. And then of course there's the improved mining drill too. Let me see what that is. So there's a mining drill heavy, which requires steel, but I do have everything else for it. So let's get the steel out. I haven't used this yet either. This is all new to me. The drill was, the heavy drill was obviously added, oh well, not obviously, but it was added in just like two days ago. Alright, so, that's going to take a little while. My silicon's done. I'll smelt all of it, but I'm just trying to get the chunk out that I need. All right, mining drill heavy, which means that uh, my mining drill small or whatever, uh, I can actually get rid of. So let's take a look at the difference. Here's the big one, and here's the small one. Uh, I don't think this has a battery in it. So here's my old drill. I can stick that in the recycler. I don't need to actually recycle it yet. Alright, so that's done. Is this making a second? No, it's not making a second drill. Okay. Night vision. Goggles. Crank those out. So now this is the heavy drill. Uh, I don't want to just make random holes around my base. So let me go find something to use it on. What I really wish well, would... Oh, here's some more silicon. Oh yeah, that is significantly faster. Very noticeable. Probably requires a bigger battery too. That'd be my guess. But boy oh boy, that makes a difference. Hello, beautiful farm. I 
I haven't demonstrated all the little tools and gadgets that you're able to make. There's, there's a lot more than I've shown. Uh, I've just been sort of trying to work towards uh, a beautiful base here. Uh, but that takes a very, very long time. It's part of the fun of this game, if you ask me, is... Oh, this should be... Why are y'all blinking? Oh, because these filters are dead. So, nitrogen filter and an oxygen filter. Alright, I gotta make those two. I'll wait until the uh, the tool tools are done. Uh, actually, they'll they're made here, and I'll make a heavy one. I'll make the improved sized filters. The small filters are only good for two hours or something like that. All right, so night vision goggles. I don't have batteries in it yet. Um, at least it rolls and then sticks around. That part's good. Right, let's go with oxygen. Heavy filter is going to cost me copper and steel. I got plenty of that. Let's make two of these. And these will last a long time. And then what I'm going to do, let's A, turn off these filtration units. And honestly, I should... I should make this my X tank. I'm going to do that, which means having this episode go even longer, but I don't think you all are going to complain, right? Uh, the only problem with this being, no, this needs to be my carbon dioxide tank. The piping is all set up for it. I'd have to remove all the piping and everything. Uh, which would be annoying. So this has a little bit of carbon dioxide in it, as you can see, uh, because what was in the pipes went back into the tank. All right. Oxygen filter, the heavy ones take a while, but these will last a very long time. I'm not going to have to worry about them for a while, which is good. And then we'll want two nitrogen filters for the same reason. Nitrogen heavy filter. So actually all these um, vents that have been trying to grab air haven't really been working because uh, the filters died. So recycle the old ones for some copper and gold. For now I'll just put all that crap down there. So that's that's useful. Alright, the night vision goggles. I haven't used these yet. Let me put uh, a battery in them. Light off. I feel like the predator. Very cool. Definitely, definitely useful if you get lost. Uh, outside or something. So I'm going to put them in my hard suit backpack. Uh, what else did they add in? The arc welder. Steel, electrum, invar, solder, solder. I don't need to make the arc welder yet. The arc welder is a faster welder um, that allows you to 
um, weld with power, not with um, uh, not with gas, and it's it's very very quick. Uh, the reason I don't need it yet is I'm not doing a large amount of welding. All right, so the nitrogen filters are in, the oxygen filters are in, and this filter here is going to filter everything out. So let's make sure that this is working again, where me, my oxygen should be climbing. Yep, and the nitrogen is climbing. Good. I'm glad I set up the atmospherics to start pulling in gas because um, it's going to take a very long time to have enough gas for my base to pressurize. Uh, okay, well, that was a nice little gadget foray. And I also got a better suit and a better workspace. And I don't know, I highlighted a lot of stuff. If you have any requests of stuff that you'd like for me to highlight or to take a look at, drop me a line. Uh, if you've liked this series, you got to let me know through likes, subscribes, even a comment saying that you appreciate it. Uh, otherwise, I really don't know if I'm doing a good job or not. It's not me, you know, being fussy about this. It's me really wanting your feedback. And if you'd like to discuss uh, Stationeers, the Discord channel is really the place to go. Thank you all for watching. Hope you tune in next time. Adios.